Hello everyone. This short video will uh, answer a question about how do I create a corridor from surveyed data. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken the surveyed data, I've made a feature line here at my center line uh, with elevations from my survey data. And then I've created 3D polylines from a couple of other surveyed lines. All right, so the first step here, I already have a feature line, so I don't have to have an alignment and profile. And then I need to make an assembly. So I want, what I want to do is be able to follow this center line and then reach out and get elevation and offset from this feature line and this feature line or 3D polylines. So assembly, create assembly, and we don't need to name it. We'll just put it right there. So to that assembly over here on tool palettes on the generic tab, I'll find link width and slope. And then over here on Properties, I can give it a default width, a default slope. I'll just say 0. Um, and let's give this P1 as a point code. And we'll pick there. I need another one to go outside of that. And we'll call this one P2. And I'll keep the same other properties. Okay, so now we're ready to create a corridor. So corridor, pick the feature line, have to name that. Okay, so I'm using a feature line, which assembly, I only have one. I don't have any target surfaces, so I don't have to worry about that. So now here's what's important though, is I need to come here for this region and target and you'll see okay offset target on the right for that first link width and slope which object so feature lines select from drawing that is this object and then the second link width and slope needs to have an object to target this is for width and then we also have to specify how are the elevations controlled. And so we'll go back and we'll pick the same exact objects. So that's the first. And that's the second. And you get this. Okay. 